Surprisingly, it seems like many S24 users and older Galaxy users aren't aware of all the extra features and customizations that you can get with your phone through Samsung's very own good lock. So today, I'm going to run through what it is and how to use it. So make sure you subscribe now and we'll get right into it. So GoodLock is an application created by Samsung for Samsung phones. It's in the Galaxy Store instead of the Play Store, and it offers a wide range of extra features and customizations. So first things first, we need to head to the Galaxy Store, search GoodLock, and we can install it. And it's supported in most countries, but there are still a few that don't support it. And if that's the case, you can get a similar app called FineLock from the Google Play Store. But once you've installed it, you can see there's a list of modules we can download to add new features or apply customizations to your phone. So I'm going to cover the ones that I find most useful. So for any of these modules, you can just click the arrow next to them and it's going to download and install them. And we can then go in and change some settings. Now, the first one I recommend is Home Up. And under Home Screen, you get plenty of new options like adjusting the Home Screen or App Screen grids and have the exact amount of apps that you want displayed. And you can also increase the amount of favorites. Now, for those that use the home screen a lot, you can also loop it. So instead of getting stuck on the last page, it's going to loop back to the first when you swipe past it. But the only downside to this is that it doesn't work if, like me, you use the Google cards on the far left. So you do have to disable that for a looping home screen. Now, Finder Access is incredibly useful, and it allows you to swipe down for the Finder, and you can enable this for the home screen or the app screen or even both. Now, I find this incredibly useful, especially when you've got loads of apps installed. And even if you've got it enabled for the home screen, you can still swipe down from the very top to use the quick control panel. We've got background blur control where you can choose how blurry the background gets when entering apps or looking at the app drawer. And we can also set the color and the transparency. And then finally, we can change the icon sizing. And mine was 120% by default. But if you want it a bit smaller, you can go all the way down to 80%. And you can also hide the text labels for both the home screen apps and the apps tray. If you head back in home, we've also got plenty of customizations on the task changer. And you can change the task layout from list to grids or even a stack. And there's also plenty more customizations below that. But personally, I just like using the grid so I can see a lot more apps on the screen at once. We've got Theme Park module, and this is going to let you select a wallpaper and then customize the theme's colors. And this is a great way to quickly put a theme together based on your wallpaper, as it gives you a preview of all of the different windows and screens as you customize. And we also have Wonderland, and this offers plenty of animated wallpapers and lock screens along with the ability to create your own with your own photos. But I won't go into creating your own as that would make this video way too long. Another very useful module is the Quick Style module. And this lets you customize and style your quick panel that you drag down from the top. And you can pick from a list of themes or create your own theme for those of you that want to change how it looks. And you can also customize what's inside it by enabling or disabling the system icons that you want, along with a lot more customizations in there as well. For those that use the S Pen, we've got the Pentastic module, and this adds plenty of customization to the pen and its use. For a start, we can change the Air Command menu to a line, a circle layout, or the retro layout. And you can also change the on-screen pointer as well as its size, and you can select from the list or even add your own with your own photo or sticker. Another thing we can do here is even change the sound you hear when you remove or insert the S Pen. And again, you can use your own sounds or pick from the list. Finally, for the S Pen, you can select double tap shortcuts and set this to open any app installed on your phone. Now, for those of you that want to mess with the clock, we've also got the clock face module. And this gives you loads of clock faces to choose from, as well as the ability to create your own. And I like that with the clock face module, it's a very simple process where you pick the style, the formatting of the text, and you can then individually select the colors of the clock. So whatever your preference is, it's got you covered. Now, as you can see, as well as the ones I've covered, there are plenty more in the Makeup and the Life Up tab to help you make changes to things like multitasking and notifications. But I'm not going to cover them all today, and I'll let you guys take a look for yourselves. But I was surprised that so many people aren't using the Good Lock app on their Samsung phone. So I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of the sort of things that it can do. Now, of course, if there's anything you're unsure about or you've got any questions at all, then just ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest tech.